All right, this could be a weekly se- segment. <laughs> so we can talk about what's going on at OpenAI, seemingly the most valuable country, company in the world, definitely the most valuable startup in the world, um, the one that everyone's talking about. And there's a lot of things going on. Um, apparently, OpenAI is losing $5 billion a year. And we've been talking about this for a while. <laughs> for a long time. And $5 billion per year. Wow. After, and it's kind of funny when you read this article we have in Fortune here, if you read through it, it says after they paid operational costs and other costs and salaries and stuff like that. So apparently all of the overheads and things like that up into this point haven't been reported. So they were saying, yeah, you know, to, to run it, we're losing money and we got to pay people. And there's this little <laughs> thing called electricity. you know they're paying people a fortune because yeah. they're trying to get the best of the best in there. Right. You know the right. salaries, they have to be insane. I mean, right. have you seen... uh his new car that he's been driving yeah <laughs> i mean guess this guy of course they're losing money i mean is he 16 because that this picture of him looks like he's uh, listen he's i just love he allowed I, to drive so, <laughs> i just love the fact like when he was uh, and again like he could do whatever he wants i just thought it was like hilarious how he's like oh i don't need money this is not profit like blah 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 and then you see him driving the fancy car now the company's all for profit well people so the, are leaving in droves because they're like what is happening so that's the weird thing here's a couple of things that are going on that i find just weird um number one they're they're converting to something called a b corp which is mostly it's a c corp but we also have some other interests so they they say while we are for profit we could have some other interests to benefit humanity whatever that is so that allows them to convert this you know non-profit into a for-profit company and um, up until this point, Sam Altman's always said, I'm just doing this for fun. I enjoy it. I really like it. They made fun of him in Congress. That's what he told that. Congress. Yeah, That's exactly. what he told Congress. <laughs> His stock payout is between 7 and $10 billion, like in this new thing. Now, what's funny, and you'll find this funny, Kevin, Elon apparently invested in the original nonprofit at either it's getting nothing. $50 million to $100 million gets nothing out of this. And so he's like, and they like said- that. They said, I know, but their excuse was when they, the lawyers, apparently they're suing each other. The excuse was, well, Elon has enough money. And that's like, well, that's not right. Yeah, I mean, that's like, not right either. Like that. <laughs> it's like, you know, that's not then, it's going to hold up in court, is it? <laughs> they're valuing this company at $150 billion. And so like other, they're getting a second round of funding, which is going to wow. be 7 billion. They're going to get another 7 billion, but they're losing 5 billion a year. So that's, that's kind of weird. You know, that's going to last you a whole 12 months. It's give so, like, exactly. You know? <laughs> so, yeah, the road is another 12 months. On top of that, now they're raising prices. And so like uh, the price ranges are, are, it's $20 a month now for OpenAI. It's going to go to 22 And they said over the next three years, it'll rise up to $44 a month. Jesus Christ. Wow. So like- that begs the question, okay, here, let's quick hands hands up poll. Who, at $44, who's buying it? No. I'm not buying it now, so no. Note for the record, everybody, nobody put their hands up. No. <laughs> $44. That's ridiculous. Jesus so Christ. here's the other thing that's just weird. Um, so Apple has come out and said, we're not investing in this round of funding. So they had asked for $6.5 billion for the overnight round, and they said they they turned it down. Um, there's probably a lot of reasons behind that. That money goes to Microsoft and they're competing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the other thing that's just weird is the CEO. Typically, if you're in a startup that's valued at $150 billion and you're getting ready to get this second round of seed money, you know, it's valuable company in the world and you're the CEO of the said company, you would stick around, right? Well, them and a lot of other people are leaving OpenAI. Why? It's it's because I don't know. They're saying that it used to be a nonprofit, now it's for profit, and we're mad. I don't think that's the case. But like, so they have a you trying to say they have a moral problem with it? That just doesn't. Seem I don't can't know. imagine they're that jealous. being a moral. They're jealous. They're jealous. <laughs> well, no, they would get paid if they stick no, no. around. So either right. they're being forced out, or I don't know, or it's just it's just the whole thing is just there's there's more to this story than we know, I, and it's just weird. I like, think it's just weird. I think they're just like, they're like Sam Alton, Altman told us he's not going to buy a fancy car and he broke that promise. So now we're leaving because we don't have fancy cars like him and we can't be part of his he, club. He was always in it for the money. I don't yes. he, 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 he sat Everyone up in front of Congress in it for the and money. said those things. He was in it for the money for the whole time, the entire time. He knew like if you have this nonprofit and you can create this thing and, it, and he pitches it as this like world changing technology and it takes off, he knows ultimately there is a payday at some point in this thing quite early on in this case because it's not this is not the, the end of the road this is kind of at the beginning of the road um but he has to pitch this thing and he's going to continue to keep talking about 
these products that don't exist, that don't <laughs> AGI. He's going to keep talking about it until he gets his payday. And at some point, he's going to walk away. And it still won't exist. Let me ask you a question because he is a big proponent of UBI. Uh, like, oh, one day, if we ever take a job, like, listen, I think it's yeah. just... He's just stroking you here nicely to tell you nice things. He so wouldn't take way. UBI. You're gonna yeah. make a, He's taking it's like $10 if you tell him, like yeah, yeah, if you say like, hey, you gotta pay out of the money you make, uh, yeah. he'll be like, oh, UBI doesn't work. Forget it UBI. Work. I don't know what I was talking about. He's for UBI for ninety nine point nine percent of people. The the point one percent, which is him, he's happy to take ten billion. Yeah, that, <laughs> right. that makes sense. I think so. You get that's, you know. All now, the other mean, thing, too, is he's also petitioning the government or he's floating it out there. I don't think it's an actual petition yet, is that he needs a five gigawatt data centers, multiple of them that the U.S. government should build to fund AI. And I'm like, why does the government need to fund the for profit organization's efforts to create an AGI? So, like, I, I think that uh, he should pay for that, in my opinion. Or if you can't pay for it, then I guess it doesn't exist. I don't think the government Because should. he's pitching this thing that it's this humanity-changing yes. technology that I'm still saying potentially will never exist. It won't. This guy won't make it. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. just wants the money. <laughs> so People the, can't see that. So the thing that I see, and if I had a whiteboard, I'd write up like how I see this playing out. <laughs> like So like... Um, but if I had a whiteboard, I'd write up like there's four competitors in this and you have Microsoft, which owns most of open AI. So we can put those two together. You have Apple and you have Google. You have sometimes Meta. Amazon in this, you know, they've got their little thing too. So like Meta, Meta, Meta. <laughs> is the other one. And so like these three, Google, Meta and, um, Microsoft are going to take all the queries when we query an open AI and depend on which AI are we going to query. But Microsoft and OpenAI do not have a device, and Apple has a device. And I think that's why they didn't invest. They're like, okay, we'll use it, but we're going to have our own, which we'll say, is it 85% of OpenAI? Maybe. Maybe it's 85% of it. We'll take all the queries, and we'll charge our users to use OpenAI if they want to. I think that, and Google's going to yeah. do the same thing on Android. They, I'm they, also looked at, they looked at $6 billion investment, and they says, and they, and they basically said, hey, what can we build for $6 billion? Could we build something like OpenAI, and they're like, somebody, some engineer there was like, yeah. He, so that's what they said, did. <laughs> Tim, we can't build a car, but we can build OpenAI. <laughs> no, he, he, uh, more, most likely, I'm most wondering, like, I don't know if this is a fact, I'm just thinking about, like, you know, Meta has a bunch of open source, like, models, and maybe, yes. like, there's this whole idea of, like, hey, we could just lean on this open source model, which is not going to be as expensive, and we could build our services on top of it, and they'll yeah. be good enough. Like, one of the things I consider, because I am using that's actually the first thing that came to my mind. Like I'm using OpenAI now. Like I have the twenty dollar membership because uh, I like building apps on top of it. But at the same time, I could use Llama open source, which will get me like most of the way of the use case that I want, and I don't have to pay for OpenAI. You know, like obviously right. you got to pay for the hosting of your, uh, you know, Llama model or like whatever. But uh, but I'm kind of curious. Like like you said, like he was he. he I'm going to say he probably knew this AI thing was going to be like a uh, bubble at some point. And yes. he was like, I'm going to play my cards right because I want to make as much money as I can before this fizzles out. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he needs to convince us of yeah. AGI in order to get that money from the government. Yeah. And we know we've seen these guys talk in front of Congress. They have no idea what, what's happening. They, these guys can show up and basically just run rings around. <laughs> these people and yeah. be like what? they will Congress literally convince them of anything that's anything weird. right they'll show up you know that's what's going to happen they'll yeah. say we need to talk behind closed doors they've already done this and i'll tell you everything and then he's just talking and then just like and then Make you convince them yeah. that this agi is coming and that humanity needs it and we need to give them seven billion dollars <laughs> all of a sudden it's coming out your tax so money funny, like i watch like computer scientists have these discussions people that are actually doing the research and they're like not like we're not going to get there with the tech that we have now like it's yeah. not going to happen. Like there's got to <laughs> be like a paradigm shift, like all this. And they're like, and they're kind of like, what are they doing? And the fact, but nobody listens to computer scientists because they're the, they don't they're they're not hype spewing. Not they're not, yeah, charismatic. They're, they're, they're not charismatic yeah, yeah. enough. They're like, yeah. That's why you know it's funny because to me I equate this to like a used car salesman uh, <laughs> person, except at a very like high kind of like level like Talk i'm about like billions you know, like of dollars the, and stuff yeah yeah it's like you got i'm with you got the, you got like the car salesman person like here and then you have like all 
like yeah, you know, like he's probably Sam gonna write a, yeah, Sam Altman, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but it seems like the same same skill set, same skill it? set. No, exactly. <laughs> yeah, same. The grift set. is strong with this, right? Yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know, I mean, uh, but he'll I tell you think... that there's a hurricane that China created, and you'll yeah, he'll tell you whatever <laughs> whatever he needs. To but tell and, you. and I just need seven billion dollars to not let it happen Tonight. again. Right. Yeah. It yeah, sounds like, like protection money. I mean, it does sound yeah. that way. I mean, like, you know, like, we'll keep you safe I, from, I, from AGI. I right. think, like, when he makes that argument, Elon, like, asking more money from the government, uh, Elon should be, like, come back and be like, you're rich enough. Yeah. You're rich yeah, enough like, now, you're rich man. enough now. You're fine. You don't need the money from the government. I, but, but the funny part is, like, I love how, like, you know, like, people who have that much wealth that will never understand and comprehend. I like how, like, whenever things don't go their way, like, because Elon's not ma- getting any money so far unless he sues the daylights out of them but it's funny how he's mad but he's like trying to be mad for righteous reasons but deep down we know it's because well, he didn't he, get the money he he didn't say, oh the kid like whatever so no, all the problem. other original investors all the other original investors, <laughs> with money. the exception of elon were paid i know so like he's the only That's one hilarious. that could get paid and he That's put hilarious. in more money than all of them combined and it's, it's like, like it's sorry to interrupt because my mind is like it's like <laughs> reminds me when little kids like but Bobby got candy. Yeah. Joey got candy. <laughs> like Becky got candy. I didn't get no candy. What is happening? You know, you already have like, candy, Paul. That's <laughs> yeah. what they said. Exactly. Yeah. You already have too much candy. Look at you. you. Look at your bag of Snickers behind I you. Know. You're fine. You share any of your, but I gave you candy at the beginning. Well, yeah. that's basically what is happening. <laughs> Just like they're trying to masquerade it as they're like some actual like you know grown Righteous. up yeah. righteousness, grown up. Yeah. I, I do think there's a bubble coming in this, and I don't know which one of these companies will fail at this. Someone will. And I think that if you just look at the total amount of money they're spending annually versus how much they can actually raise, OpenAI seems to be the likely candidate. Now, will that mean that Microsoft just consumes them? Probably. Microsoft will just rename it, uh, you know, something else. Something you know, terrible a, for sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, a really yeah, long exactly. name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Artificial <laughs> chat intelligence. That well, you, 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 I mean, they can't they can't call it AI, can they? Because we all know that stands for Apple Intelligence. Yeah, let's call yeah, it exactly. MI. Yeah. Let's call it MI. <laughs> MI. <laughs> Microsoft <laughs> Intelligence. Yeah. So it would be a really long name that doesn't make sense. For sure. That's a guarantee. <laughs> 